welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall spirit reading, the weekly spirit reading for September 7th to the 14th. So this feels a lot of like regrouping and pulling your energy back. Um, I posted a whole spirit message about focusing on the better, focusing on planting the good and the better. So taking your energy back and bringing your focus to that. It's your focus is only to the better and to the good and there is kind of a pulling your energy back kind of regrouping, um, taking stock, and wanting to focus more on the good and the better, and then making your moves from there. But there definitely is a regrouping kind of energy going on here. So you could be taking a time out, you could be taking time to regroup, to recenter. It definitely feels like all our energy we were expending in various directions, we're pulling it in um, so that we can really clearly focus on the better and the good and pour our attention and time and focus into that so there could be a real coming back pulling back of your energy and just almost like reclaiming it um, so that's what I've been getting and I posted that whole spirit message about literally focusing in on planting for the better and the good now and it was just a beautiful message like keep focusing on the better and the good and plant your seeds from that um, no matter what it looks like in the physical uh, but this week it really feels like a regrouping or pulling your energy back and trying to harness it all just to get recentered refocused on the better the good and what you can do and so it seems very much like that. So let's tap into the 7th to the 14th as we're regrouping, I feel refocusing, centering ourselves, bringing our energy back. It might have been that our energy was really expended in so many directions and we're kind of pulling it all together again, back to focus more on what's better, what's good. We might be just really regrouping, recentering at this time. It just feels like it feels more beautiful than what I'm describing. It just feels like bringing all your energy back, coming back to center again, coming back to a point of power, just really reclaiming, regrouping. Let's see, from the 7th to the 14th, we're going to tap into the Archangels, and then we'll tap into everything else to get the energy, the angel guidance messages from heaven. From the 7th to the 14th, they take your energy back. Take your energy back. Oh gosh, they're ready. Okay, 7th to the 14th. What is our journey going to feel like? The 7th to the 14th of September from the Archangels. What, what is our journey going to feel like? 7th to the 14th. Oh gosh, and this grew out right away. Queen of Air, y'all. We are so powerful in the physical and we are just loving and nurturing to create more abundance for ourselves. Um, this is very much a powerful card in the physical. This is actually Queen of Pentacles. So they're saying that you are really in your element here, creating more things that are beautiful. Like they said, focus on, what did they say? Focus on planting. Focus on, oh, here are the sirens in the background. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. This feels like an explanation mark of what I was putting before of that spirit message. It's literally focusing on the better and focus on the good and look at what happens when we nurture that. We're making it better, we're making it good. This is our whole environment here creating more abundance. We're in the power to do that. So nurture yourself and those you love. It's the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So they're saying pull your power back, pull your energy back and focus because you're creating more abundance, more beautifulness, I would say, because they're literally saying, it, like it said, you're pulling back all your power to be present in the physical, creating more beauty around you, enjoying more of that, focusing more on what is better and what is good, and you're planting more seeds. You're planting that. I mean, that's a bit of a recurring message. It's like we're very powerful in the physical. We are focusing more on what we can beautify, what we can make better, what we can make um, more good, if that's a word. But that's what they're saying. And to nurture that, nurture that ability and pull your energy back to focus more on that because that's where our power lies and that's what we're concerned with. So take your power back for that. To create a better, a more uplifting environment even for yourself. Um, just really creating on your own environment, your own, what you want to manifest, create more abundance. 
you could be really surrounded, making your place more comfortable, more beautiful at this time, looking at ways that you can expand on that. That's where your power lies. So they're like, pull back your energy, your focus, anything that you were extending out, pull it back because you're beautifying and making your world better at this time. You're the queen of Ariel, which is the queen of pentacles. So that's what I was feeling. And you could be feeling this. You could be feeling like you're really kind of sinking back into yourself and pouring yourself into what is going to be beneficial to you in your immediate environment, what you're working on, creating more of your abundance is where your focus is and they're saying that's where it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then with this, we have now the nine of Gabriel. So no doubt about it. This is being very passionate. You've planted a lot of seeds. Talk about that you've been doing the work. You have been guided. You are protected. You're protected and backed and what you've planted is protected as well. So you should really know that at this time. And they're saying stay determined, keep moving forward, be prepared for any possibility and environmentalism uh, environmental activism. This part about stay determined and move forward, um, they, they, that's what they kept on saying also. It's like you keep planting your seeds. No, nothing is budding at this moment. You keep planting your seeds. Stay determined with what you're planting, with what you're moving on passionately. It's being guarded, I would say. You're guarding it, but then it's also being divinely protected as well. So there will be rewards down the line is what a recurring message and what's clearly coming through at this time so stay determined stand up for what you've been working on pouring yourself into there will be future um, rewards from this it's very similar to the spirit message they made me post about when you plant a tree they were talking about the man who if you read my spirit message i posted right before that there was a man on the corner that was supposed to plant a tree but he kept on getting distracted outside of himself and then he finally planted the tree knowing it's going to reap future rewards it was much more eloquent what i posted in the spirit message but it's pretty much this card as well because you have divine backing and protection for what you've been planting they want you to stay determined so pull your energy back for it because you're going to need your energy to keep moving forward and stay determined with whatever you're working on in the physical whatever you're trying to beautify better make better in the physical you need to stay determined moving forward know that you're protected has been coming through over and over what you're working on is protected you have to know that and they're making me say this over and over again because we have the nine of michael this is when you have worries you have doubts you have fears this is the middle of the night um dwelling over will this will this bloom you know what i've worked on will this come to fruition and they're saying your worries are necessary focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire release the feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels so just keep your thoughts on the outcome don't worry so much about how and when and if because you have backing and protection it is going to bloom you just keep doing the seeds you keep moving forward stay determined you're powerful in the physical release any fears doubts worries to your angels they're right here telling you you have backing you have protection so keep that in the forefront of your mind just stay focused on the outcome like they said focus on the better focus on the good um leave the rest to your angels just keep staying determined moving forward you're very powerful in the physical nurture yourself love and nurture what you're doing i would say as well you need your power back for that and they're telling you to keep like bring your power back for that we have the three of michael there have been definitely heartaches disappointments everything else it says release the past you will grow from this situation time heals all wounds they're definitely saying and before i started this they were like don't be disheartened don't be discouraged keep standing strong keep planting you are protected you are guided there's been worries there's been heartbreaks it's been difficult they know that but release that as much as you can and bring your power back for the physical bring your power back this may be a time of really um, bringing your power back after these disappointments, after the worries, the doubts, um, bringing all your power back, because that takes away your power when you're stuck in that. That's a lot of um, taking your power away. Oh my gosh, and the five of Ariel. What is happening here? We're feeling really outside of what we need and want at this time, no doubt about it. They're staying, that's what we're feeling. Um, this says you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. 
negative thoughts are creating self-fulfilling prophecies. This really may be a time, the 7th to the 14th, of really feeling outside of what we need. There's heartache, there's disappointments, there's, we're just in our mind too much. Absolutely, we can leap out of this. We're not, they're, they're backing us to get out of this. Feel more powerful in the physical if you're feeling outside of what you need and want. There's help nearby. You could really be, I, I feel like the help nearby is here. You're not doing this alone. You're not planting your seeds alone. You have divine help. Stay determined. Stay moving forward. You're going to need all your power back for that. We're expending too much time, uh, focus, attention on worries, doubts, feeling removed from what we need and want. There's actually been heartbreak over this. Um, but they're saying that you're guarded and protected, so keep planting your seeds. That you're more powerful in the physical than you realize. Keep loving and nurturing yourself and what you're working on, what you're pouring yourself into. Into It will reap rewards. There is definitely times when you may feel overwhelmed or you have choices in front of you and you have to go with your heart. It could be a little overwhelming at this time, like you're not quite sure which what's going to be working out, what seed is actually going to reap rewards, what cup to pick, right? Um, it's time to make a decision, be clear on what you want and take action and it's a need for detoxification. Well, I could tell you it's definitely a time for a detox because this is too many thoughts, worry, stress. Um, heartache, focusing on the things that we're lacking and not on what we do have as the Queen of Ariel. So like they said, focus on the good and the better. Release these these self-fulfilling, like these um, negative perceptions of things. It may be a time to really take stock and regroup and stop focusing on what we don't have or what hasn't been in fruition yet and then start focusing more on the good, on the better. Um, what choices can we make that actually is a powerful choice that will get us out of feeling like we're lacking something or that, you know, a positive choice that, that makes us feel that we are more powerful, which is the truth. We are. So it's making a choice and letting go of these worries and doubts and focus on probably the past or past experiences that are getting kicked up at this time, but that we definitely do have backing for what we're planting. You have to know this. This is like the pivotal card right here because um, that's what's going to keep you powerful in the physical, focusing on the good and the better. And that's the cup to pick. What's aligned to your heart? It is time to make a decision and to get out of feeling that you're in a place of lack. Um, let's get some additional parts. So it's definitely, like I said, I felt that. It was a time to regroup. It's a time to recenter. It's a time to pull your energy back. So once again, you're feeling like the Queen of Ariel, who's focused on loving and nurturing what's good and what's better and using your energy for that, not using it to spin in her mind worries and doubts or heartache or things like that. Trusting and knowing that she is divinely protected and guarded, even the work that she's done you know, and they're saying to keep moving forward. And that's the decision to make. So what could have been the hurdles were what we're telling ourselves in our mind or what we've experienced in the past. And it's a little discouraging or disheartening, which I was picking up before, but it's almost like with the right choice of staying powerful as the queen of Ariel, you're already leaping out of that. Like that's the cup to chip to pick, that you're powerful in the physical. Pick that cup, you know? pick that, that you're taking your energy back to love and nurture things that are good and better and then doing the action, staying determined and going forward on that despite what else might be kicking up. Um, so I'm really feeling this is kind of like lick your wounds kind of time and saying yes, you can keep plowing on. You can literally keep plowing on because you know you have divine backing and support. It could be like a real time that we're having to do that for ourselves. Maybe it's like a little step away to be like, to regroup, like I said, like regroup, regroup for more power for like the next, the next, what is it called when you do like a marathon, the next leg of the race? Like, you know, it's like bringing your energy back so you can do the next leg because they're telling you it's time to make a decision and go forward. Oh gosh, and these are flying out. And yes, look what's coming in when we do King of Raphael. We are leaping back into our power. So we're very powerful in the physical and powerful in the heart. It's our heart that's giving us through this. Our divine guidance and divine backing is like reigniting us and our hearts to yes, keep going forward, keep trucking. 
um, go forward on the things you really care about. It's almost like this is going to be the power wave that's going to be moving us past this because we are just so powerful, like in our hearts. Um, and that's the spirit they're saying, yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. So you do have what it takes. Like that gets on saying, you're very powerful in the physical as the queen of Ariel to make it better, to make it, um, to nurture it, to have it grow into abundance. There could be doubts, fears, disappointments, heartaches, feeling removed from that. And they're saying, no, pick the right thing according to your heart. We are backing you and protecting even what you've previously worked on and what you're going to be planting. And you are in your power to create that. And it's this backing and it's also this refiring up of your spirit that's having you leap over all these doubts, fears, feeling like you don't have what it takes or something. It's like the, the divine is lifting you up. The divine is like re-inspiring you. Like you can really feel like a divine regrouping, a divine re-inspiring, a divine like pick up your bootstraps kind of thing and powering, moving you forward all of a sudden where before you were kind of like, uh, I don't know, and uh, um, putting on a brave face, but maybe having a lot of doubts and fears and and old things, patterns, but no, this is very powerful. This is trumping everything. It's coming out very powerful, queen and king. Um, and like, again, you do have the ability to accomplish many things at once. So follow your creative passions. Follow, follow, follow your heart. Follow your creative passions. No matter what kind of doubts, fears, previous heartbreaks, if there was, um, feeling like you don't have what it takes almost, it is an illusion. So it may be a real time of regrouping, of reclaiming your power, of seeing that that is an illusion and like you can just power through it and do it in a, be re-inspired in some way, re-fired up in some way, um, really following your creative passions, really following your heart at this time. And they're urging that because they kept on saying that spirit message that came in, that was like a whole parable that came through that whole video, um, vision that I had of this man was supposed to plant a tree and he kept on getting distracted but he was supposed to plant the tree the tree is good for him and all and it was like sometimes you think what's the difference of me doing it or it's not paying off or you know like what's the point but they're saying no there is a point stay determined and move forward because you're creating this abundance you have to remain refired up so there could be moments when we're kind of falling in that a little bit in our energy or you know, maybe we've tried, tried again, um, but they're saying, yeah, try again, because here is the cup to pick. Um, it's the one that's aligned to your heart, and then it's just like powering you up again. So this is a real divine pick-me-up. I know sometimes I do those spirit pick-me-up readings, but that's what this feels like. It feels like we're getting kind of run down, and this is like a divine pick-me-up of like, yes, you can do it. Yes, you're powerful in the physical. Yes, follow your heart. I don't care about the the disappointments in the past. I don't care that it's been rough and you're worrying and stressed. Like, I don't care, like put those down. That's not real because what's real is we have your back. We're protecting you on all you're working on here. And they're saying to stay determined and move forward. Um, definitely, definitely. And you are really powerful. So I feel like this is a refired up in some sense, like a divine pick me up and power on kind of thing. And you could be feeling that yourself where you're taking a time out to regroup and pull your energy back to be more determined in the physical, to reclaim re being re-fired re up again, but they're also doing that for you. So it may divinely be like great divine timing where you have some, I don't know, you're just getting divinely re-inspired, divinely uplifted, you're getting you're giving yourself time to regroup, to pull your energy back, to come back out the world like this. But something's happening between the 7th and the 14th where it's like, yeah, despite whatever, you're coming out because <laughs> this came out, Ace of Michael. There's definitely something new here. You're reaching like a new plateau. I want to say this is a new idea, new opportunity. Um, this is a wonderful new idea. And exactly, don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. If I could sum up everything I'm trying to tell you from these cards, it's this. What Spirit's saying through these cards is do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. But what I'm saying is it's this. Don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. It has not been easy. They're acknowledging the worries, the stress, feeling removed or outside what you want or need, the disappointments, heartbreak. I mean, like all of this, but they're like, stay determined. 
and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility and here it is. This is the new idea. This is the new upliftment that I was talking about, about how you're powerful and being re-uplifted in some way. And here you are. It's like you're on, you reach the, a, a peak of a mountain here. It's like, yes, you're going up. There's a wonderful new idea, a new project, new thing to do. And I almost feel like you're uplifted. You're gonna end the week. It's something is bringing you up out of this, like a surge you're resurged, you're being inspired, you're powering on, you're powering forward, and despite the past obstacles, and that is the key, there's something like, and everybody, we've all had huge bumps in the road, what, what do we say, like sinkholes? I mean, we've all had sinkholes. Literally, it's hard to keep pulling yourself up out of a sinkhole, right? That's what it feels like. It's like tons of sinkholes, tons of sinkholes. You get tired. It's tiring to keep trying to uplift yourself all the time to keep going and keep planting seeds. And they're saying, yes, that's where we're going to help you. Pull your energy back so you can get up out of that sinkhole once again and keep planting your seeds. Stay determined, be powerful, and keep moving forward. I mean, that's what they're saying. So somehow you're really inspired you're uplifted again. Um, that's what I'm feeling because you need to power on and be creative and, and move on these things in the physical and you need to regroup and reclaim your energy and they're helping you to do that. And so that will bring new ideas, new opportunities. You're gonna feel like you claim, came out of the sinkhole and are up on a, a leap again. Um, something about being surged up again, um, fired up again, to be determined and going forward again. And it is again after the, like the millionth time of again. So you definitely have divine backing for this because I feel it's almost like divine power backup. <laughs> Cause I feel like back here, it's like, I can't do this again. I, I can't do this again, again and again and again. And we're wiped out and I feel like it's a divine power surge of some sort uh, to get me fired up. Let's see what is the energy for the 7th to the 14th as we're getting to finally surged up to do it again. We have the thinking man looking at the jewel, thinking how can I create more? How can I go on? We are thinking, we are planning, we are strategizing, we are looking at ways to increase our abundance. And again, with the broken heart, every time we're trying to think our way out of these past disappointments, it has not been easy. I feel like this broken heart's been here a long time but it is spurring us to action, no doubt about it. That is what I'm saying, is that we're moving past this heartbreak once again. And this is like divine, it's all in one. We're one with divine, it's a power surge. I don't know how else to describe it, but we're getting stuck in our minds. We're thinking, how can we create more abundance for ourselves? We're stuck in a broken heart. It's been disappointing, that's in the background. And that has been in the background of all these cards. And then we're surging into action again. So there could be ways that we're thinking about how we can get out of this, how can we go on forward again, and it, it's just been heartbreaking or disappointing. But then once again, yeah, we're surging into action, and that is what they want us to be. Powerful, going in the direction of staying determined, going for, for what we need to do. And that is exactly what the King of Raphael and the Queen of Ariel is. It's like this, um, this powerful... Um, it's the king and the queen together. It's like divine couple moving together. Um, you and the divine. It's a divine power surge. I don't know how else to describe what I'm getting, but you're getting recharged, refired up. I don't care if you need time alone or time to regroup or time to whatever, to maybe to think about it or something to get through it. But you're definitely charging out of this heartbreak past disappointment and you're going into new fields of possibility, new fields of abundance, new fields to, of things to do. Um, they're, they're inspiring us to move forward that way like this. This, in this card, what this reminds me of is these two cards together, that you're very powerful in the physical, and this is your emotion pushing you forward along with the divine backing, all in one direction. So I almost don't have words for everything I'm getting, but it is definitely a power surge moving you beyond the past hurdles, the previous bumps in the road, that yes, you can do it, and you're doing it again and you're gonna get a power surge. You've been guarded and protected to move forward on the things that will make your physical uh, better. So nurture what you're getting and what you're doing and be refired up and moving on what you really care about. And you have divine backing even in this card, but this is the action to take. And I really feel like it's this, it's like a divine power surge. 
a divine regrouping of sorts, of pulling your energy back so you feel this for what you're doing or how you're living your life. So divine palette surge or divine reboot, so to speak, a div divine refiring up, um, a divine regrouping. <laughs> That's what it feels like. They, they're regrouping and then they're moving in the direction they're supposed to. Um, more powerful even because you've given up on focusing on the disappointments or the heartbreak or the this or the that. So it's definitely a kind of like lick your wounds but get your bootstraps back on and keep going. Um, so it's like a regrouping, a refiring, um, getting your energy back to making it better in the physical. And just like in the spirit message before, they were like, pull your energy back. They were like, focus on the planting the good and the better. And that's where our attention should be. Um, so it's definitely pulling your energy back, focusing on the things you can make better um, and going forward. And yeah, stay determined again and stay moving forward again. And as much tired as we are, they're refiring us up. They're giving us a power surge. So what is the goddess guidance advice? Goddess guidance advice for the seventh to the fourteenth to be power search for yet another round. Oh gosh, and we have we got two. Yeah, we keep on getting these same ones. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This is like let me let me shuffle some more. Hold on a second, because that was exactly the cards that came out in this other reading. I will tell you, it was like Mary Magdalene. It was have boundaries. It's like being that spiritual warrior and going forward no matter what claiming your power back, being strong. Um, that's what I saw. Hold on a second. So let's get some divine goddess guidance. Let's see what really wants to come out for this reading as we're getting recharged. I feel like we're getting divinely recharged. There's no other way to say it. Divinely recharged, like go another round. You know, like get back in the ring, get back out there kind of thing. So you might be taking this time out to um, think about it reclaim your power yeah yeah because you got to come out like this you got to do the action strong we got to come out we're gaining our strength back we got to move aligned and it's in strong um the seventh to the 14th could really be about gaining the strength again this momentum again you are stronger than you think you are and it's your strength that assures a happy outcome it is our strength that's pulling us out of the past hurdles the past obstacles the disappointments feeling like we don't have what we need or want we're going to create it in the physical we're going to be staying determined and going forward like that like strong like strong nothing is going to get us down that kind of thing we're going to take back our energy and go through here strong aligned that is aligned action and believing again in infinite supply we're going from the five of pentacles make no doubt about it this is the five of Ariel. when you're cast out don't have what you need or want believing in infinite supply that is the divine working on us you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows and that is what spirits coming through trumping because it's when we are in the dark like we feel the dark when we're in the nine of uh the three of Michael and the nine of Michael, when we're in our thoughts in the dark, when we can't see, we come from lack, we come from we can't do it, we come from fear, we come from doubt, and here they come, right? They're saying, be strong, infinite supply. You know that you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. You know that you are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. They're seeing that you are powerful in the physical, right? Creating the abundance. They know that you have the power of following your heart. You're divinely backed to move on those creative ideas, the, the things that you're supposed to do. It's your heart. It's your spirit, honestly. It's your spirit that's powering through. And it's divine action now, getting you out of everything in the past, the hurdles, the blocks in the past. And this is really beautiful. You could really come up with great ideas because this was the thinking man and we have the Ace of Michael. So there could be fresh new ideas or ways to go or what to do, especially when you pull your power back and then you're just assessing, like looking at situations clearly, right? You may find like something that just catapults you into a resurgence. I almost want to say it's like a resurgence of energy, a resurgence of power, a resurgence of, it's like a regrouping and a resurgence that's happening. Okay, so let's see what's the power of surrender. So 7th to the 14th is really a way to get your power back, a resurgence, regrouping, 
you're being urged to do that. You're stronger than you think you are. If there's infinite supply, always connect to that. That's divine, right? That's divine. When we're stuck with the nightmare, you know, the fear, the doubts, the heartaches, that's us in the physical alone. That's not connected to divine. Divine is you're stronger than you think you are. You're powerful in the physical. You're backed. Um, and you're linked with infinite supply. That's the truth. So it's like keep on realigning yourself and your spirit to what's divine. Like they said in the very beginning, focus on the good, focus on the better. Don't get lost in the, the back, the back, the, the bumps in the road, the things of the past, the things that we fill in the blanks with. Let's see, um, surrender, power of surrender. They're asking us to be strong and to rise up again. Yeah, I mean, like, we really are. It's a lot. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Talk about taking your power back, right? Pull, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. This could be a time that you're really pulling back your energy, creating the inner peace. Um, no matter what has gone on in the past back there, you're pulling yourself back. Like what I said in the beginning, it's like you may take a time out to just bring all your energy back so you feel more powerful in the physical again, that you are reconnected again with infinite supply. Sometimes our mind runs away with us or our circumstances of our everyday life do, and we have to reel it back in and take back our power and be like, no, no, I can be powerful and strong and move forward. I'm linked to the infinite. Um, infinite ideas, infinite supply, and I'm going to be powering through and on and creating more abundance. Um, so creating that inner peace, no matter what's going on, you may want to take a time out to pull your energy back. Yeah, yeah. Surrender to prayer. Surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. So right now, you may want to take some time out, go within, and really be, you're, what are you saying and thinking and everything else? You're heard throughout the universe. Answers and support will arrive. They're reassuring you. Just like when I was saying, you have backing with that nine of Gabriel. You're being guarded and protected. Answers are going to come. Ideas are going to come. Being re-fired up is going to come. Whatever you think that five of pentacles is, the know what you're doing, the, the asking will be given kind of thing this is really beautiful and we have surrender your ego wow surrender your ego cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals you are all about being of service at this time that is why they're re-inspiring you up you're the king of Raphael you're only moving forward powerfully on the things you care about that's what's getting it's like a divine heart and divine guidance are one and the same that's why you're linked to infinite supply because you have surrendered the ego I want to say that's not where you're coming from at all you're coming from your divine heart your divine ideas linked to infinite supply that's why be strong um, nothing of the ego is gonna get very far okay and we have surrender the stress yes okay this is number one because back there we had all of this with the mind and feeling cast out and um, heartbreak and heartache and bumps in the road surrender all the stress look at this card this is what we should embody this is the card to embody the 7th to the 14th just surrender 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 and look how clean and pure she feels as well greeting this new day take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center this is like the sum of the 7th to the 14th that I was trying to put into words in the beginning it is really exhaling all the tension, the stress, uh, everything we've been through in the past. It's all, we hold it in our body, exhale it out, let the stress go as you come back to your center. And the 7th to the 14th, we're really coming back to our center, pulling our energy back, taking our energy back, releasing all that was burdening us so we can move forward strong and aligned again, linked with infinite supply, powerfully moving forward on the things we really care about, very powerful in the physical, creating our abundance, what we want to see more of. And we are going with that action, moving out of all the heartbreaks and heartaches and obstacles of the past. 
they're saying the work you've done and planted is backed and supported and protected and literally stay determined and move forward. So this is all about reclaiming your power, regetting your power, releasing everything else that does not make you feel powerful, kind of like a regroup kind of week. So you will go forward more powerfully moving forward, staying determined. They want you to be that way. So it could be a lot of work regrouping, I want to say. So a lot of regrouping here. A lot of letting go of anything that does not make you feel strong and powerful and linked to the infinite um, and everything else and feeling backed and stay determined and moving forward. So it could be a lot of reassessing and regrouping and pulling your energy back uh, for this. So let's get messages from heaven. Messages from heaven as we regroup and feel refired up again. Regroup to refire up. Messages from heaven. No doubt about it. Link to infinite supply and surrender the stress. That's a lot of stress that was showing up back there. <clears throat> Messages from heaven for the 7th to the 14th as we are to stay determined moving forward. Powerful in the physical. Aligned to the divine and infinite supply. Stronger than we think we are. And our strength assures a happy outcome. It's really our strength that's getting us through this again. <laughs> they make me feel like again and again and again. And they realize it is, has been again and again to go through like this. But we are to stay determined and moving forward. Um, that's what they're saying. It's like aligned action. This is aligned action. This is aligned action. It has to be aligned with your power in the physical and your heart, which is one and the same with the divine, right? And it's linked with infinite supply. So that should release your worries and, the, and everything that was back there. That's what they want me to say. Messages from heaven. So hold on to that because that's a lot of work just to do that. Messages from heaven. Messages from heaven, staying strong and powerful and linked with the divine, letting go of all else. Messages from heaven, it's a lot of work, 7 to the 14th, but we're coming out of it in a better frame, in a better frame of action and power for sure, after we regroup and recenter. Oh, look at the hands. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. What did I say? It feels like new energy. There's changes on the 7th to the 14th. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. They're holding your hand through this whole thing to walk through these changes so that we bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Exactly what I'm saying. It's bringing you a new energy. The 7th to the 14th, something's happening. There are changes. You're going to feel it where you're actually coming out of it with feeling like you're walking into a new life with new energy. They're going to hold your hand through it. Know that you're protected and backed as you're doing the work, as you're moving forward aligned, staying powerful. You're more powerful than you think you are. They're holding your hand. The divine is holding your hand through these changes. There's so many changes going on inside and out. They even made me do uh, reading about that. Um, about the changes where transformation we are changing inside the world's changing outside everything is inside out changes changes can bring you new life and energy we will hold your hand make no doubt about it they're walking us through this yes they're acknowledging it's been tough yes it feels like sinkholes we're pulling ourselves out of again and again and again but they're helping us we're not alone it's bringing us a new life and energy and that's where we're going to be coming out of out with a um, new energy, a new life, a new energy, a new life. Okay, so let's get some more messages from heaven. They're acknowledging all these changes, but they're going to walk us through it. We're not alone. It's going to bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand again. Okay, we've been getting this every time in a row. They're definitely sending so many signs, symbols, messages, confirmations all over the place. I know this card says birds are messengers that they use to connect with you, but they're connecting with you through endless ways. Um, just drink it in. They're there. They're supporting you. You're not alone. You're on the right track. They're going to be comforting you, giving you love, support, messages, confirmations that they are holding your hand, that they are around you, that it is gonna be okay. Um, and they believe in you, just came through. They believe in you, like you can do this. We're strong for this. You can power through, stay determined, keep moving forward. You can make it better, brighter. That's it. 
Um, yeah, let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. Let me tell you, there is so much love coming through right now. Like you could feel like a virtual hug, uh, feel a spiritual hug right now, for, especially from what loved ones passed on, that you're not alone. They know it is so tough, but you are not alone that they're giving you actually hugs. Let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. They're so close. And again, they're telling you to keep moving. Believe, did I not say believe in yourself? You are a star, step into the spotlight where you belong. They're telling you to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself as you're going forward at this time with the things that you're doing in the physical especially that are aligned to your heart. And yeah, because focus on the positives, you know there are many. Uh, what did they say? I mean, I can't make this up if I tried. Focus on the positives, you know there are many. They kept on saying, focus on the good, focus on the better, pull your energy back. If you've been pouring your energy out in too many things, pull it back so you regroup and then focus on the positives. You know there are many. If you didn't see that spirit message um, that I posted with that whole story visual that they gave me, it was like literally they said focus on, uh, they were like focus on planting the good and the better. Literally, focus on planting the, the good and the better. They were like keep focused on planting the good and the better and here focus on the positives you know there are many look if we chose to look at everything that's not working that we wish we had that we don't have that didn't bloom that didn't you know all these things that are going on we can't make our path to where they want us to go like that we have to focus on the positives you know there are many they're all around us along the path they're telling you to keep moving forward believe on your believe in yourself as you make your steps and keep focusing on the positives so this could be a real time that we're really moving forward trying to move forward and they're saying just keep focusing on the positives i know that um, people always say that but they're literally saying that over and over again focus on the good focus on the better focus on the good focus on the better don't focus on what the past or what you're saying in your head or whatever and again we're getting this we rejoice when you find love and love comes in unexpected ways. Make no mistake, as you're making your steps down this path, focusing on the positive, remaining strong and determined, getting claiming your energy back and pouring it into trying to make things better um, with what you're doing, um, love is coming in here. You have a hand and here you have a hand. We have hands of help, make no doubt about it along your path. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Keep moving forward. Focus on the positives. And here is we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. They're going to bring in helpful people. They're bringing in helpful circumstances. They're going to give you signs, symbols, messages, confirmations that they're holding your hand as you make your path, just focusing on the positives. Focus on making things better. Um, don't let your energy get away from you. Don't let, um, you know, go turning in your mind and heart of previous heartbreaks or have your mind spin just bring it back to infinite possibilities they were you were linked with the infinite they said your supply for today and all your tomorrows they're holding your hand through all the changes there's going to be new life new energy and unexpected things coming in on your path so it's like a time to regroup and be re-inspired and pull your energy back to keep moving on these steps stay determined moving forward that's recurring okay so let's get some guardian angel messages let's end it with some guardian angel messages oh gosh okay that was weird um they made me stump you can't make this up okay oneness again we always get this card someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart remember dearest one that even though there's been a physical parting spiritually those we love never leave us creation is eternal nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one. I can't even read this card anymore. It's coming out every single time I use this deck. Make no mistake, they are so close, so close. Let us hug you, close your eyes as we hold you close. When I say they're close and they're surrounding you as you make your way, you are one. They're holding your hand. You're getting signs, symbols, messages, confirmations. You are definitely not alone. We are all together in this and your loved ones passed on especially. They're literally holding your hands changes can bring you new life and energy and they're holding your hand through this whole thing positive outcome at this very moment you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts feelings beliefs and attitudes 
whether through love, fear, or indifference, you're always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. Again, I could hardly uh, read this. This came out before, and it also is saying how when we get stuck in the heartbreak, the obstacles, the heartbreaks, feeling like we're outside of what we want and need, don't focus on that. They kept on saying, focus on the positive, focus on the better, focus on what you can do to make it better, to make it brighter. Um, literally, that was that spirit message before that I posted to the channel because you are sowing the seeds and it was literally plant the tree that makes it better, planting the trees that make, uh, that are, yeah, making it better. You're sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive and focus on the positive, focus on the outcome. That's what they want. Focus on the outcome, focus on the positive outcome. Don't focus on the past, don't focus on um, what we tend to naturally go to. It's not even like, I think we are naturally programmed to just turn and focus on whatever. We have to take the reins. Oh, geez, sorry about that. But here, take the reins, definitely take the reins. And here, this is like really being aligned going forward to positive outcomes no matter what. And they're helping us to be more fixed with that. Um, that's what I'm getting right now too. Um, Cause this takes strength just to remain aligned to that, if that makes sense. Because there's so much you can naturally um, get pulled apart. Like in that spirit message, they said, don't go with the distractions, pull your energy back, pull your focus back, focus on the positive, focus on the better, focus on the good. This is focused on the positive outcomes. So you're making aligned actions strongly in the direction of positive outcomes. They're asking us to do that and that they're holding our hand through that. It's very easy to go off course with that, with our mind and heart. And they're asking us to be more aligned and strong in that. Just focus on positive outcomes. Just stay focused on positive outcomes. That's it. So even if your mind starts traveling, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm guilty of this too. And they're making it clear to me. If you just catch yourself, if your mind's getting too far away from you or your heart even, or if you're going, if you're sinking, like in a sinkhole that they were saying, or too much in your mind going in circles, all you have to say is focus on the outcome, positive outcome. Focus on a positive outcome. And it brings you right out of each one. And they're trying to lift us up and out each time, better, quicker, faster, because we have to stay that way. I know that I'm rambling, but they just gave me that. Focus on the positive outcomes and it will immediately put you aligned. It will immediately put you in a stronger position, right? And we have to be, strong and powerful in the physical they're asking us to be strong remember the queen of pentacles queen of ariel and we're supposed to be the king of raphael so we're supposed to be very aligned and powerful in the physical and so just focus on positive outcomes focus on what is positive focus on what you can make better um and not let anything else get you out of that okay so here let's get more guardian angel cards because those two we get every reading that it's not even funny so loved ones passed on are just so making themselves known i know this is a really long video i don't know where the time went i'm sorry about that but i just i, I don't end it until i feel like i've gotten out everything that i feel like they're trying to communicate and now i think you know we're nearing the end i just want to top it with a guardian angel but this is longer than what i planned um, guardian angel messages from the 7th to the 14th as I feel like they're really lifting our spirits they're lifting our spirits and our power and the physical to stay focused on positive outcomes and that's really the crux of it that is really the crux of it no matter what has happened and with that we're getting expression expression express how you feel clearly I feel like they're 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 literally in this conversation when I was just saying I apologize this video is so long but I feel like I have to get what they're trying to communicate and I feel like they're just added like they're in this conversation with us okay expression express how you feel clearly lovingly and honestly without fear or judgment say it exactly like it is all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. And this part too, trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. That When we had all those hand cards, make no mistake, trust in the power of life to guide you because they are holding our hands 
they are holding our hands 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 right um the odds of getting two hand cards right changes can bring you new life and energy we will hold your hand they're bringing us new energy they are they're they're giving us the strength and energy to focus purely on positive outcomes and to express that clearly honestly truthfully go for that um let's get one more they're not done they're not done and we have relax yep we had surrender uh, like they said pull your energy back relax in all that's going on yes there is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will, oh my God, I can't even make this up. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. This part, you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life. They kept on saying, focus on the positive outcomes. Focus on, oops, wrong one. Focus on the positive outcomes. And in the other one, um, you focus and you focus. Remember, it's your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes that are creating these outcomes. So you've got to keep them positive and you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. And we literally had that spirit message that was saying, pull your energy back and focus on planting more, making it better, making it brighter, making it, um, it was all about focus. Focus on what is making it better. Focus on what is, um, it was so much more eloquent, my spirit message. See, I, I only dictate what they tell me, like on that spirit message, but they, it was all about focus. And, and they're, I think they're making us refocus. Um, they're telling us we will accomplish more by just focusing on that which is most important in life, which is love. Um, they want us to relax. You're surrounded by loved ones passed on. Keep your thoughts and uh, keep all your thoughts positive. They're creating positive uh, outcomes. Absolutely, right? This is the guardian angels. You definitely have loved ones passed on. This is coming out in every single reading. I can't even... I can't even anymore. Keep your thoughts and your focus on the positive. You're planting seeds. That was it. The spirit message was like, we're all planting trees, literally. We're planting seeds that are growing into trees. Whether people see it, know it or not, that's what we're doing. It's better for you and all. So they're literally saying, you're sowing these seeds for your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. So keep them positive. Positive outcomes are coming. That's where your focus should be, not on all the past minutia that we get stuck in expression express exactly how you feel clearly lovingly honestly without fear or judgment and say it exactly like it is all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel trust in the powerful power of life to guide you and heal all concerns self-expression is liberating and healing we have the queen of raphael king of raphael queen of pentacles you're powerful in the physical sowing your seeds right with positive thoughts feelings actions the expression is the king of Raphael. You're moving on your pure heart, your clear heart, your divine heart that's linked to the divine. They said you're tapped into infinite supply. It's like your divine heart when you're cleared out, expressing divinely is one and the same. And then you have relax. So relax. This trumps everything. And if you've been stressed out, if you've been too preoccupied and your energy is going in too many directions, whether you're in your head or in your circumstances, they're just saying just relax, focus on positive outcomes, you are so backed and supported by loved ones passed on especially and the divine but you have to know there's plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire so seriously just go into a quiet space within how i began this reading pull your energy back just take some time out um know that your guardian angel is with you allow me into your heart and you will accomplish so much more by focusing on that which is most important in life which is love so it's like get out of your head get out of the stress get out of the past obstacles what we see even all around in the physical and just tap into yourself and relax focus on positive outcomes good things are going to be coming in absolutely a lot of just releasing the stress this feels like a real time to just give up past stress kind of like what I was saying before, like a regrouping, pulling your energy back so that you can focus on the things that, like they said, are most important, which is love, right? And you're feel, you are being guided. There's enough time to do everything. It's a real time to regroup, pull your energy back, 
stay focused and strong on the things that really matter that are positive. Just keep, just keep focused on positive outcomes, period. That will sum it all up. Okay, so have a great week. I'm sorry this uh, this went so long, but I feel like, just like they said with the expression, you can't end it until it's fully expressed. Take care. Bye-bye.